this is the superficial and the deep perineal pouch Swiss cut injection to show the various layers of these pouches. These two pouches lie below the synthesis pubis and separate the pelvic cavity from outside. This is the membrane most layer of the superficial fascia of the perineum, which forms the floor of the superficial perineal pouch. This is the crust of the penis in contact with the side of the pubic arch, just below the sexual pubis. This is the perineal membrane which forms the roof of the superficial perineal pouch and intervenes between the superficial pouch to the outside and the deep pouch to the inside. This is the sphincter urethry muscle which fills the deep perineal pouch together with the deep transversus perineal, they cannot be differentiated from each other. This is the superior layer of the deep perineal pouch covering its upper surface and separating it from the pelvic cavity. The free border of the levator eni muscle lies just above this layer of fascia. On each side of the deep perineal pouch, the internal pudendal artery and dorsal nerve of the penis pass very close to the side of the pubic arch on their way to enter the superficial perineal pouch. This is the internal pudendal artery and this is the dorsal nerve of the penis. This is the side wall of the pelvis, showing the branches of the internal iliac artery as well as the roots of the sacral plexus. The pelvic organs are removed. This is the internal iliac artery. These are the branches of the anterior division. This is the posterior division. And these are the lateral sacral organs. This branch enters the first sacral foramen. This branch enters the second sacral foramen. This is the continuation of the lateral sacral arteries to the third and fourth sacral foramen. Notice that these sacral arteries are accompanied by lateral sacral veins which form an important link between the veins of the pelvic organs and the vertebral plexuses of veins. And this link is of importance in the spread of metastases of malignant tumors of the pelvic organs, particularly that of the prostate, to the vertebral column as well as the brain. This is the lumbosacral trunk which is a combined fourth and fifth lumbar roots. This is the first sacral root of the sacral plexus. Note its big size in relation to the other roots of the plexus. The sacral plexus appears as a big band of nerve tissue which will 
past to the critical static foramen to enter the gluteal region. This is the pyriformis muscle, which lies under cover of the sacral plexus. This is the pudendal nail, which arises from the second, third, and fourth sacral nerves, and runs in company with the internal pudendal artery. 